what is up guys how's it going this is going to be a video about um i wanted to talk about the insanity for this one person to the um ai president's you discord server youtube channel about him deleting nuking his entire channel and if you don't know what's happened what has happened is that he was like one of the most popular um ai presidents uh funny ai channels basically and he went on an entire tirade he went on an entire rant about why he felt like he needed to delete all of his content i think he just privated them but he felt like he needed to unlist all of his content and then or i mean private and then do an entire hour-long rant about why he thinks that the rapture is gonna ha like he needs to do it because of god and he needs to do it because he can't do it ungodly to do it for funny laughs anymore and needs to go on a hyper religious uh path and it just seems all too crazy to think about but that's what he did and he like one and the problem with that is is that I mean, I'm going to also go over a lot of, like, I'm going to go over, like, stuff that I want to talk about and how, like, it's kind of a trippy, tricky subject because you need to talk about stuff like, first off, you need to take a stance, like a normal objective stance, first off. And then afterwards, you need to talk about the religious stance of it because I used to be a hyper Christian person myself. And to me, it seems very immature for him to do what he did. Like, like the first thing I can, like the first argument I would come up with is. Like, the very first argument I would come up with against his stance on doing what he did is, like, if, if PewDiePie, like, if PewDiePie went out, or Markiplier went out and said, I need to be a Buddhist monk now and delete my entire decades worth of content I've made because... It is wrong of me and it is wrong of you to laugh at the, this type of content. I need to spread the word of Buddha now and you need to because I care about you guys. And it's like PewDiePie and Markiplier, these type of people have done content for the longest time out of anyone on YouTube. And they've actually like legitimately helped people's lives out and helped them through dark times, people would tell them. And have helped them not commit suicide before. And it's like. Content like that. Helps people. It's like if Markiplier did all this content. For like decades. Even delete like. If he deleted like. Heist with Markiplier. Space in, Mar in space with Markiplier. And was like. I need to spread. The word of this now. Because it's cheap laughs are wrong and it's like that comes off as super unhinged and really ridiculous and he made an argument that if you even criticize me president ai discord channel made an entire um like argument that if you criticize me it is the word of God telling me that I am right because God says that the world will laugh at you and stuff, so on and so forth, for following God. And it's like, let's take an objective stance first and then take the religious stance. First off, I just gave you 
the objective stance that comes off as really dirty because a lot of people in your YouTube's comment section have said that objectively it like people who have like subscribed like as like members who have subscribed to you and gave money donations to you feel like they've been fricked over because they followed and supported this content for a long time because they only watched this type of content for a long time to get their mind off of things when they had a bad day at work for example and i would like to also like talk about the whole point he tried to make about because i'm a i'm a christian and if you criticize me that makes i'm i'm exempt from being criticized because if you're criticizing me that's just more proof to me that i'm following god's word it's like here's the thing that doesn't all of that is cool and all but that does not exempt you from criticism realistically people can criticize you no matter what it's like i was having an argument with someone about this woman on instagram who was saying follow jesus in her bio and then i called her out because she like was posting photos of her working at a fucking hooters and i was saying is it why would you like say that you're a jesus person when you're also like work at hooters like how is that following god and then she said only god's allowed to judge me you're like so i'm completely fine and it's like hooters by design is all about there's a fucking hair in my mouth is all about objectifying women's boobs like let's not like skirt around this here and here's a good example that i tried to give her is a porn star that follows jesus more faithful to god than a pastor and even if she was is she exempt from all criticisms no she is absolutely not you can still call someone out on their bullshit behavior if you're like committing a crime if you're if you see someone killing someone and would you be would it be wrong to pull out a nerf gun nerf blaster and shoot them with a nerf dart youtube censorship would it be wrong to do that because they're trying to murder someone else like you are still not exempt like you can't do this holier than thou argument because that is just absolutely ludicrous if you are I'd actually like to just go over a few of these comments though like I'm, I'm i'm trying my best to plan out this video but i'm, I'm not like a good commentary person <laughs> but uh um one comment says you have no right to declare that the rapture is coming when in fact dozens or hundreds of people before you have who were m far more credible credibly claim claims that the same thing claimed the same thing and were wrong every time you've lost it you've completely lost it no rational person does this you've done done what you've done in this particular way you've gone way you're you you've gone about doing it another video comment says brody i understand that god is good and all you did not have to go and delete your president's content. If anything, you could have made a second channel where your Christian beliefs in God and whatnot. If anything, an action... Um, it's hard to read. It's far away. Sorry. An action...
Ah, frick, frick, frick. I'll just pause this. There, is this any better? I was like doing the stupid standing up thing. Okay, so I'm gonna go over these com freaking comments, by the way. But anyways, someone said, I understand that God is good and all, but you did not have to delete your entire... Uh, something as impactful as this. You could have made a second channel for your Christian beliefs in God and whatnot. If anything, an action as impactful as this, which is a forceful change to us as fans of the president's Discord server content, is most likely going to make people despise and be against Christian beliefs rather than persuading people into joining it. I love God and all, but something like this really wasn't necessary. And if anything, people are going to unsubscribe and it's going to leave a sour and bitter taste in for some people's views of Christianity. So I beg of you, whoever runs this channel, please reconsider from doing this doing all of this and have the old and enjoyable content come back up you don't even need to make any more funny ai president's content if you don't want to if you'd rather stick with your faith in god then that's all right we'd all completely understand but doing something like deleting the old content isn't going to isn't going to make people understand that and make them think otherwise please reconsider from doing all this i missed the old content i knew well and that many others many others are as well also if anything god wouldn't see it as necessary as to enforce this upon your viewers because in reality all he truly care about is your faith and trust within him and his word so please i beg of you please reconsider if it's doing more harm than good, man. That's all something I want to freaking talk about. It's like, like, what was it? Uh, I, it's like all he had to do, all he had to freaking do was, all he had to do was unlist all of his old content Put it into a uh, unlisted playlist and bury that into the description of his, this video and make it so if people really care and want to watch the old content, they can, but make it so it's like, if I, I get it, if you just, if he wants to just not be in the algorithm anymore and like not be relevant anymore, that's understandable but nuking your entire like entire existence off of youtube people are just gonna hate you more all right and that's not, not gonna like persuade anyone into believing in, in your same beliefs like we've heard we're all in like a western culture and understand the whole bible prophecy well enough already Another comment says, Privating all of these videos was not a good move, bro. As someone who was a member of this channel for over a year, I feel betrayed by this. Someone says, I'm not religious and I'm not really one to criticize others, but when you start shoving this in my face, like I've never heard, oh, the rapture's coming, and deleting content I used to watch all the time for escapism from shitty times is not cool way to screw over your fans and here's the thing this is probably like the most important thing is if you're if you have like fans online if you have like any sort of online following like i would think that it's like an unsung rule to not fuck over your fans it's like if people People, you can have, like, fans, and then you can have, like, people who, like, tell you that, oh, you've helped me through things from your content. It's like, you do not fuck over those types of people. If people are saying, like, thank you, I've I've been a fan for a long time, and your content, like, helps me through, like, like, I watch your content, like, 
over headphones and when I'm at work. It's like, you do not frick over those people. Like, that's like a big, a big honor in a lot of ways. Like, if you were, it's like, imagine someone like Markiplier popularity doing something on this, on that scale. It's like the an entire internet would have an entire uproar and it would not be a pretty thing. Sorry, my hair's like a little fucked up. And it just because you're doing this whole religious shtick, it does not make you exempt from criticism, by the way. It's like How do I how do I explain this? Here's a pretty cool bit, uh comment. Someone says, "I'm not an atheist or anti-theist." But it's sad that a channel that I liked with funny humor with fun characters turned into a generic apologetic channel that uses the same speeches and adds nothing not only to those who are not Christians but also to Christians themselves. I'm not against your religion, in fact. If your religion makes you happy, then follow it. But taking a fun and relaxed channel and turning it into an unfounded apologetic propaganda machine is sad rip president's discord channel it's like okay the thing is about this is going to be a dip, more difficult thing to talk about but i understand where he might be trying to come from because he seems like he with this type of argument it seems more like someone who's like younger and more hyper like ultra religious and i could see that sort of if you were not, if you're, if I'm following God, like if the world hates me, haha, good thing. But it just seems more like you have more of a, like, that's the type of, like, in the real world, like, in the real world, that is what is called any good publicity, any bad publicity is still publicity. And it's like, not really. Because if, people despise you that doesn't help you in any way and on the religious note it goes on it comes off more like it's like i'm not like one for arguing so it's kind of hard to like come up with a good like it's hard to detort this sort of it but like if you're trying to make that sort of logic while also being like, if you're like still like an online influencer, you still are not exempt still from criticism. I can still criticize you if you did like a shitty thing to your fans. And on the religious note as well, It doesn't make you more holy of a person just because you're more hyper religious about and going through a religious phase or whatnot. It just makes you come off as more unhinged. Like another, another comment says, as a Christian, I was completely ready f to say goodbye to for you. Good for you. I mean, say good for you. But then you started saying that the rapture will happen on a specific day. See, we already had a rapture panic in 2017. I remember how people were talking about constellations aligning to fulfill prophecies and that the rapture would occur in October of that year. October came and went and then there was no mass disappearances. Now seven years have gone by and this video uploads. Please forgive me if I take yet another rapture prophecy with a grain of salt. Now I'll admit that the reasoning for these sections are sound and you've done a decent amount of research. Props to you for that. However, in the end, it's still up to God. So we're just going to have to wait and see. It's like you cannot be the type of person who is saying it's going to happen this day. 
and talking about the Antichrist will be a freaking president of the United States. That's like, it's like, if you want to talk about like good examples of like Antichrist, it'll probably be like George fucking Soros or someone, or like what's his name, uh, uh, Klaus Schwab or something, someone from the WEF, like whatever his freaking name is, Klaus Schwab, yeah, whatever. Someone says, wow, just wow. I'm probably going to get, I'm probably going to get hate for this, but I really want to point out to how much of a stupid decision this is. This was that you did as a Christian myself. I myself appreciate you're spreading the word of God and what his plans are, are going to be for the future. Yet at the same time, I can't seem to feel more disappointed than glad. You dedicated almost your life to create one of a few of the best president's channels whatsoever, then threw it all away for this. And you also fucked over the people who subscribed and gave you money. It's like, you don't fuck over your fans on online. It's like, there's like real life rules of like not taking like if you're not like taking donations from people and if you're like some famous person there's like real life rules and then there's like online rules if you're like an influencer if you're like fucking over your fans like financially and whatever you dedicate again i really do appreciate you spreading the word of the gospel but i also feel like you literally wasted so many people's time and money by just getting rid of everything you didn't have to delete everything, yet you did. Why? You say that you didn't want to make the series anymore, but at least give us something that can that can celebrate your love and dedication to your channel. Hell, if you wanted to, you could add a balance between general audience and Christian alike with your work. This is just sad to me because I really loved your videos, and I'm glad you're speaking about Christianity now. The only thing I will say is that maybe you were hacked. And if you hopefully you'll get your stuff back up soon. If not, uh, just know that people, many people are going to be happy with this. But not many people are going to be happy with this. But take to heart, your work was awesome. I wished you would have at least uh, blah, blah, blah. Here's a funny comment. Imagine drinking a shit ton of Kool-Aid while sniffing Coke and reading the Bible. I don't try to diss religion, but delete a good ton of your videos because predictions on October 2nd and the Antichrist and all of that. Just weird, okay? End to an era, I guess. If this is experimental, then he fuck fucking got me. Did Bogut... I don't know. I know that there's like... I'm probably going to like come up with the right argument to argue his point after I'm done uploading this video. But it just comes off as like... Like... Doing this behavior and screwing over your fans comes off more as unhinged and it's not going to make people want to be all god prophet like follow god more it's like if anything all you had to do the best thing you could have done was just put everything into an unlisted playlist unlist all the videos so you can if you want to get off the algorithm and then put it into a playlist people can find it's like people like these people Loved that content because it was transformative in a way uh, uh, and transcended a lot of like, like, uh, what's the words again? Like it, it kind of tra trans transcended a lot of like internet humor. Like people, like I'm pretty sure everyone has wondered 
what if the presidents fucking played Wii Sports together? It's like, that's like a real thing that people have probably thought before, even the AI, uh, funny AI stuff. And now people have made the that type of content. It's like, and I remember like video there, like I've I found videos before of even like, um, like two thousands videos that were very like, very like in line with like funny AI and funny presidents doing funny shit. It's like, if you were like into like the funny AI president stuff, for like the whole year and then like if you were the type of person who saw the Joe Biden and Trump talking on stage about like golf you would have been like just like everyone collectively saying like haha he did the thing they did the thing together it's like people like this shit because it kind of feels so meta and real in the real world and feels kind of real worldish in a way. And like there's it's not just cheap humor. Like he makes he also made the argument of like cheap it, I can't do this anymore for cheap laughs and it's like why? Can't you have a sense of humor? It's like my mom's like the most religious person you'd ever meet, but she's been a nurse, an open heart surgeon for like 10 plus years so a lot of her humor is dark humor it's like the most brightest people you will ever meet are people who are actually actively like engage in liking like comedy it's like if you're and if you were a religious person you would have saw tucker carlson's speech to canada and saying that we need to use humor as a way of defending ourselves from a uh, tyrannical government because laughing at people is the best way of telling them that you don't take them seriously. Been watching you for a year, and if nothing happens on October 2nd, I'm going to be at bro's house, someone comments. It's like, oh my gosh. Like, who who are you to also, like, still also predict the rapture? It's like, nobody will know. Nobody. Nobody. You can't predict that. Bro. But yeah. That's been this video though. I'm not I'm not a commentary person, okay? I'm pretty sure someone like far better at this would have like done a far better job. But uh that's been this video. What do you guys think? Come up with the most sound like arguments. I would like to have like discussive comments in the comments below like give your best like deep dives into like reasonable arguments against doing this type of behavior because it's like i mean really like what if pewdiepie or markiplier did something on this on that scale and did this sort of thing where they private all their content and say i have to do this because i can't do this cheap laughs content anymore because I need to spread the word of Buddha or something. And it's like, that's fine that you love Buddha and all. But like, you made content that was transformative and like helped people like ha through like ha through having shitty days. And just screwing them over like that does not help you or them. If you're talented, use the ta your talent. But anyways... That's been this video. Give me your best uh, 
like thoughts b down below. I'll probably even like if I come up with like a something that I I'd like to add, I'll probably also put it in the comments below. But tell me what you guys think. Have a good one. I'm glad that people are also re-uploading all the old content that he deal uh privated. But uh yeah. Um I'm guessing we'll just have to see until <laughs> What fucking happens on October 2nd? Because uh, I, I freaking doubt anything. And, and like politically going like what's going on politically right now. It makes zero sense to happen on October 2nd. Like. It makes sense uh, with like uh, radical communist Justin Trudeau and in, in power. And then. um uh, Keir Starmer being a full out communist right now in the UK. I don't know what's going on in Australia. And then if like fucking Kamala like became president, like she'd go full blown communist just like Justin Trudeau. It's like, it would make sense then after all of that, but it's like, Dude, that would that's after the election. It would make zero sense if like pre-election type of season. And you and he made the argument in his in his fucking video here like this fucking video the rapture will change your life uh, October 2nd, 2024 Rosh Hashanah feast for of trumpets. It's like it makes zero sense to try to predict this stuff because it's an unpredictable event. It's like, it makes zero sense as well that a president of the United States is going to be the fucking antichrist. It makes more sense for it to be like George Soros or someone or Klaus Schwab from the WEF. The WEF is literally the ones who are perpetuating the new world order thing because of how like everything that the we the world economic forum believes is all like new world order policies like it would make zero sense i don't know for like obama to be the fucking antichrist for, and it's, there's nothing wrong with making cheap laughs and gaffes about all of that stuff because if you you if you use laughter as a tool to vent your frustrations, you can take the power away from these types of political leaders. If the whole nation is laughing at you and like that takes the power away from these types of people in power, like what Tucker Carlson even said, that's like this video he made president discord server channel. It's just an unhinged rant. I even tried to like get through it. I watched 19 minutes into it. It just makes zero sense. It makes zero freaking sense. And it just comes off more as unhinged. And like like the the best argument I think I can come up with at the at at the moment is Okay, so this whole Christian belief that if the world hates me, then I'm following God. That's like thinking that best the best publicity is negative publicity. But I don't objectively think that's true. Because if all you're doing is seeking out bad publicity, all you are doing is making yourself look bad. Like... If you're just actively just trying to be mocked and screw people over just to tell them, hey, praise God, praise God. Honestly, I'm actually just pretty much done here. I don't freaking care anymore. I just wanted to criti make some small critic criticisms. I don't think my video is going to get anywhere. But yeah, that's in this video. I'll pr like, here's the thing. I can't, I was thinking about this stuff all day about good, like, arguments to use 
And then I just forgot them all as I was recording. And I'm not, I've never done voice, voice, I've never done this type of uh, content before. I'm not a full on content creator. So it's like, it's not like I'm like any good at this, but I, like I am trying. It's a type of content that I am interested in doing. But you know, but yeah, that, that that's been the, today. If I have any more like things I would like to say, I'll just put them in the comments below. And I would like to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Um, but yeah. Again, about the thing earlier, like, if I can explain this right, if you're, it's like, if all you're trying to do is this, any publicity is good publicity sort of mindset in a Christian based way, where it's like, that just seems still kind of silly in a way, because, like, it just seems more like you're just trying to actively seek being hated. And how is that like a godly thing at all? Like, I don't know. That's the best I can come up with right now. But yeah.